All right, guys, welcome back to AWM FX. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, no matter where you are. Hopefully, you guys are in good health and great wealth. All right, so today I'm going to talk about danger zone uh, type 2. Previously, I've shared about a uh, danger zone. All right, which is at the edge of the chart. All right, let me show you some of the recap. So example that we are having a up, uh, an uptrend over here. All right, and what happened was that, sorry for that, the price in small time frame, that is some uh, nice trade coming down all the way, whatever setup it is, right? then you have to be careful when the price is approaching the birth, all right? The birth of the uptrend, right? Even though now you have a very nice, uh, we call it a break and retest or uh, SBR over here, right? I would just advise you to be careful when you want to take this trade over here because anytime it might reverse right anytime it might reverse all the way so this is the type of a uh, danger zone number one all right so today i'm going to share with you the danger zone type two all right so it's actually very very simple it's just that you need to check on multi time frame all right so sometimes when we are happily trading an uptrend or downtrend uh, anyway now i'm i'm giving you an example all right over here all right so let's assume that you're trading at this zone so one of the most important things you need to do is that example here let's assume that this is a h1 chart you are trading happily in h1 chart always always look at a higher time frame example the daily or maybe the weekly especially the daily and the weekly right they have a very very big impact on the overall movement right once you switch to the time a higher time frame make sure there is no zone obvious demand uh supply zone for this example you are trading uptrend right you're trading uptrend make sure there is no obvious supply zone all right if you're trading the downtrend in the scale you're trading downtrend make sure there is no obvious uh, uh this one called demand zone all right why because if there is a supply or demand zone all right the price might react all right so just imagine the daily time frame once it react all right once it react the trend might continues going down, right? The trend might continues still going continues going down, but the problem here is that once it react, it will have a retracement, and this retracement might be very very big before it continues to go down again. All right. So this kind of uh, I won't say mistake. It's just that when you're trading near, very near to this kind of zone, or right, against the supply or demand. Have tend to be be careful, all right? Tend to be uh, attentive to this kind of a setup, all right? Make sure that you don't uh, get into this kind of trap. And suddenly you ask yourself, hey, how come the the price react, uh, the price reject, or the price does not respect the supply demand zone in H1, all right? It is because that is a bigger bigger uh, setup in higher time frame. Right? Just remember the higher the time frame it is, the supply and demand uh, is stronger and price tends to react more there. Right? So now I'll give you an example over here. All right? Now we are looking at uh, uh, the GPP CADM30 right now. So over here, if you look at it, if you look at it, this is an obvious uptrend. All right, this is an obvious uptrend for M30. It breaks all the structure going up and making higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So you'll be happily trading over here. 
right this is just an example you're tr happily trading over here let's assume that you uh, make a buy trade when you saw something interesting over here at this point at this point all right so what happened is that once you make a buy trade suddenly the price drop or react or drop drop we call it drop then you'll be cursing you are saying, uh this is not accurate right you'll be questioning uh why i be i've been learning supply and demand and it's not accurate right but that is one thing that you guys always always forget go and check at higher time frame so now let's look at a daily chart all right all right so if you look at the daily chart over here all right if you look at the daily chart over here look to the left look to the left right we can see that that is a very very strong zone this is what we call it as a strong uh, supply zone over here right so once the price reach this area it will either react or reject right which you do not know because you are looking at lower time frame all this while all right so instead of uh, selling you'll be going buying and you caught in the trap and this is what happens to a lot a lot of traders and especially new traders you need to check for the supply and demand zone higher time frame make sure that it is clear right make sure that there is nothing uh, we call it the roadblock uh, I mean taught by my mentor the uh, buy strap uh, this is the kind of the roadblock that we try to avoid right if we already bought from the bottom your entry from the bottom all right then it will be different story right if you bought from the bottom you might need to just be careful or move your stop loss a bit higher in case the price reverse and drop you're in a profit position right if it breaks and goes all the way then you'll be a very happy happy guy or girl all right so you have to be careful this is the kind of the things that you need to avoid right trading uh, might be easy oh no trading might be simple actually it's simple but it's not easy trading is simple it's not easy there is a lot of things that you need to take care of it's just like you're cooking right you need to take care of the uh, amount of the ingredients that you need to put in the salt the pepper the sugar all those kind of things if you place it you put it wrongly one ingredients a little bit more the whole uh, cooking will go haywire right so hopefully you guys do agree with me this is the kind of uh, things that you need to take care of and uh, this is a message i want to uh, let you guys know all right so hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the video uh, if you do please give me a like and uh, do subscribe to the channel uh, the channel is still a newborn it's uh, still uh, very young so once the channel reach 2500 subscriber right actually i'm i'm making i've been making the some videos the whole set of supply demand right from my perspective what was taught all right to me by my mentor i will produce it in english form because my mentor taught it in uh, my my native language so now i'm going to teach it uh, i'm going to share it out in english fully all right nothing hidden just for you guys once my channels uh, reach 2500 subscriber all right so if you guys like the video just give it a like and do subscribe that's all so see you guys next time bye